Today's the day we are going to declutter my apartment. I need to start with my closet because there's a ton of areas in my apartment that need help, but it all leads back to the closet. So basically the only reason the other parts of the apartment are cluttered are because there's no room in here for those items to live. So I have a theory that once this is figured out, then I will have more space and everything will kind of fall into place. Oh, if you're new here, my name is Clara. I live right outside of Washington, D.C. I make little videos and everything. You don't really care about that. You just want to see me clean. So let's declutter. We're starting with the closet. Like I said, let me, let me show you what we're working with. So this is like the top area that in theory should be a lot of storage, but it's not really practical storage right now then we have all of my clothes this is a wasteland a lot of these drawers barely open if i'm being honest um yeah more clothes it's like a little laundry cart because behind the door there is our washer and dryer um this is my boyfriend's side so i'm not really gonna touch any of that this is what we're working with so we're going to tackle this in two ways. I just got two trash bags. One will be Goodwill. One will be Plato's Closet. Um, no Plato's Closet slander is allowed on this channel because I actually used to work at one. I worked at a Plato's Closet in college. Um, so I feel like I, I know there's a lot of hate surrounding Plato's Closet. But I feel after working there I have like a really good eye of like what to bring in and like what they'll actually take. And I can realistically anticipate the prices. Like I'm not, I'm not upset about it. Goodwill, Plato's. And I'm going to set a timer. I'm going to set an hour long timer because um, just to keep myself in check. I don't think I should spend more than an hour like going through the clothes. I think that'll be the quick part. All right. Hour. Let's start. Okay. I just went through this section and these are all the hangers that I got rid of. This is so far my Play-Doh's pile, and that's my Goodwill pile. I just know that these are items that, like, Play-Doh's wouldn't take, so it's not even worth bringing to them. Um, next, maybe I'll do jeans or this section. The piles have grown a little bit more. This is where we stand with this side of the closet. I feel like I need to get rid of more of this stuff because these are like dresses and skirts and I really don't wear dresses and skirts that often, but I always tell myself I'm going to start wearing them more often, so I don't know. We'll see. I think I should tackle this middle section now. This is a lot of athletic wear. These are his jeans and then those are mine, but maybe I should also go through these. Start with these and then we'll move on to that. <laughs> I just straightened up the little jeans and pants section we have and now these bins are going to be hard because this is all of my like matching athletic wear and athletic sets so I'm not going to want to get rid of any of these but I'm going to have to because I'm not wearing all of them. I'm also starting this like very small pile of stuff that I think is worth putting on Poshmark like my graduation dress and like this cute little boutique dress and then these are like Abercrombie jeans that I can't return but still have the tag on so I feel like someone would want those but otherwise everything so far is going to Play-Dohs and Goodwill. I really need to be ruthless with the athletic wear because I just have way too much of it. I think I'm gonna try and get down to two bins of athletic wear. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that but and two of these bins were also full of like big oversized t-shirts for sleeping or just like fake tan days and I think that reasonably I should be able to get that down to one bin I don't think I need two of shirts all right I just FaceTime my sister a little bit so I didn't film but I've made some progress We've added a pile. This is just all like trash that's not worth like donating or anything. This is Goodwill. I cleaned off like what was stuffed on top of them. This is a gift for someone so I need to like make that into like a little gift basket and get it to them. 
This bin down here is everything that I have to put on Poshmark. This is um, PR and like extra products that I have. These are all of my matching workout sets. These are all of my like mismatched workout pieces. These are my big t-shirts. This is like accessories now. So I put my jewelry in there and then a couple other random things. So those are his pants. Those are my pants. These will be our extra towels rolled up. That's what's been there. Up here, I went through all my shoes. So in there is a ton of shoes. And then this is going to be my, like, nicer handbags. I have a couple that are just, like, sitting by the door. And that's another thing that I needed to find a home for. So that bin's going to be, like, nicer handbags. Where did my coffee go? Oh. Okay. Got the coffee. I condensed a bunch of my swimwear into there. And then these are um, scarves, other accessories, travel, like, makeup bags in there. Because I have a million of those. So now we have this space up here. I emptied out this basket and this was previously up there and it probably will stay up there. Um, but I have two of these baskets. One of them has all my nail stuff and it's currently in the living room, but it's overflowing. That might become overflow for all of my nail products. I went through those two bins and organized them. There's really no way to like make those look better. I also cleared out all of the random junk that was sitting on this shelf. So we're still making progress. I'm gonna do sweatshirts next, I think. And then this might turn into like a little laundry corner. I don't want this to continuously become a dumping ground. So I think I need to have longer hanging items here. So I'm thinking maybe my dresses and sweatshirts over here. And then I'll try and fit all of my tops up in that section. And then this will become this little like laundry area that I have kind of envisioned for it. Maybe as I go through the sweatshirts, I will like start kind of figuring out where I want things to live. I have a feeling there's still a couple things I could get rid of out of there. That's still, I'm still looking and seeing things that I don't actually wear, so. I also really like to color code my clothing, so that's kind of clearly gotten away from me. So I'm going to color code the sweatshirts as I put them up and then I'll organize all of this stuff. This is super tight now. I'm gonna try and go through dresses and get rid of like five more because I know that there's still a couple in there that were a bit generous to keep. So I color coded these and then I'm gonna go through these and color code as I pick out the last few that I should get rid of. The Plato's Closet pile has grown. Polly will not leave me alone, but we also cleared out this whole section. This is all the nail stuff I was talking about. This was sitting in the living room because I just did my nails. Wait, let's take a break and look at my nail. I filmed this for TikTok if you want to see how I did it. But anyways, that's all of my nail stuff. I'm going to combine it with that basket and just have everything slid up there. But it's looking really good. This is color-coded now. This is all color-coded and makes sense. I have a new hamper that I'm going to slide right there. I was like really randomly motivated to do this project like two weeks ago. So I went to Home Goods and Target, I think and i bought a bunch of like containers and stuff to organize with and then as soon as i got home i would lost all motivation to do it so i have all of that stuff sitting in the hallway so one of those things that i got is this rolling hamper that's going to go in this corner right here next to the laundry cart and then it'll replace the hamper over here you can't really see it but it was kept on his side um i just think it'll be better if it's like right across from the laundry machine but we'll see anyways I am going to put all of the nail stuff in these two baskets now and I have a feeling there's some stuff I can get rid of like I don't really use like traditional polish anymore so I can get rid of a lot of this Polly ma'am <laughs> This could definitely be a little bit more organized, but this is what we have right now. I put like polishes and like my tips and cuticle stuff in here. And then in here is the actual light, my e-file, and then some of these like press-ons I have. I really like this brand. So I'm going to slide those two baskets up there. Okay, I think it is safe to say that we're almost done in here, minus packing up all of the giveaways. That's laundry detergent, and that only has a couple loads left in it, and I'm going to have to do some laundry after this, so that's why that's just sitting there. And then I've been vacuuming as I go. I've just been trying to, like, get behind all this stuff. There was so much hair. Let me show you that stuff that I actually bought the other weekend. I'll show you, like, what's meant for the closet. 
It's just been sitting right here, which also doesn't add to like the feeling of clutter, but I got new kitchen towels because all of ours were kind of like mismatched and I wanted neutral ones. So I got two three packs. These were from Home Goods. That's all of the kitchen stuff, but then this is what I was talking about. This is the little like rolling hamper that I got. I'm thinking it will fit right in that spot next to the rolling cart with all the detergent on it. Honestly, I feel like I could go and get two and maybe do like lights and darks. Is that too much? That might actually be nice to have it already separated. I kind of like the idea of getting two, but for now there's only one. So I am going to swap out our current laundry basket and put everything in here and just kind of get a feel for the size and see if we need one or two. Cause I could always run out to Target this afternoon and get a second. I'm, I'm feeling like I need two. I think I need to bag up all of my Play-Doh's closet stuff and see how much space that's going to take up in the car because I wanted to bring this to my hometown Play-Doh's closet because I'm going to visit my parents this weekend. I don't think this is going to fit in my car. Got all of the Play-Doh's stuff in bags. This is what everything looks like. Ended up being four big trash bags and then this like little bag has some shoes in it. This is the trash bag and then this is two Goodwill bags. So this is everything I got rid of, which is pretty good. And the closet is just feeling more open. I don't really know if it will visibly look different because it's not like I put in like new organization, but I feel like it looks so good now. I want to run to Target and get another one of these. And then I'm going to do a couple loads of laundry and that'll like get rid of that box. I'm taking a lunch break. I just made a sandwich. Next, I'm going to do the little like area right next to the front door, the little table with all of my bags piled up on it because now that there's room in the closet, some of those bags can go in there. So I'm actually pretty excited to do that next, but I'm going to eat this lunch and then we'll get back to it. <laughs> Yay! Okay, it looks so much better over here. It's so much less chaotic. I hated walking in to this whole little corner because it just felt so chaotic, but it was <laughs> entirely my fault. So if you haven't seen our apartment before, we have this little like wine rack here from Urban Outfitters and then this map, which was from Home Goods, and then this table is also from Home Goods, I think, or TJ Maxx. But now it just makes so much more sense and I love it. The smart thing to do right now would be to keep cleaning and declutter the bathroom But what we're actually gonna do is go to Target because I found that coupon and I just want a break If we're going to Target, then we should probably go to Goodwill. So I need to find a way to... Wait a minute. Should I go to Goodwill? Because what if I have more stuff to bring to Goodwill? Should I just wait? We'll wait Let's just go to Target. I just realized I'm literally wearing my Ugg slippers to Target. So this is the vibe. But too late now, we're going. I also don't remember if I mentioned this or not, but today I put on fake tan. So I look psycho, I smell so bad. I know I smell bad right now. So everyone at Target is about to hate me. I already have some of these under the sink in the bathroom, but I'm gonna get one more just because I think I'm gonna need another one. So I'd rather have it and need to return it than like have to come out again. So maybe I'll get a couple of these random little organizers for that junk drawer by the door too. I feel like, is that too wide? I don't know. They're pretty cheap. They're like a dollar, so. Maybe like that. I think this one's too big. Maybe I'll do one of these guys. Yeah, that's kind of nice for that junk drawer. Okay, so, so far we're getting this. Perfect. All right, and now I need one of these. All of the bins in my closet are from Target too, if you're wondering. They have like a ton of different sizes. Now I'm gonna run home because I just remembered I have an appointment at four. I'm gonna bring all this stuff up to the apartment, take a shower to rinse off this tan, and then run to my appointment. 
right, I gotta jump in the shower and then go to my appointment, but I will be right back, probably in a different outfit, and we're gonna do the bathroom. All right, I'm back home, I went to my appointment, and now we can do under the sink. Actually, let's do the junk drawer first and see how those little organizers fit in. Ew, my hair looks so gross. It's hair wash day, so if you've thought this whole video that I look a little crusty, it's because I do. You're not in the wrong. Everything fit in so well. This is just like all those random like tools and things. I put all the pens right here extra car keys flashlight matches and then this was just some like bigger items that didn't make sense to put in there but i think it turned out so well i'm so glad i got those so i put the second hamper in and then i separated lights and darks and then i just decided to do a darks load so that's why this one's empty but this is so perfect for this space i'm so excited i'm kind of tempted to get another one of these bigger drawers and put it on the other side right here and then just kind of like separate our stuff all together so we each have a stack of drawers but i'm gonna talk to him and see what he thinks we could also just put our like sliding luggage in here maybe that would be a good place um i don't know we'll talk about it this might be where more drawers go but we'll see so the way that i have it organized right now is i have like hot tools and hair stuff more hair and body. This used to be a bunch of travel size stuff, so whenever we were traveling, we could just dig through that for the products we needed. And then this is medical. Um, it's kind of all exploding. I think I want to try and condense this to be travel because we don't need that many mini size products on hand. So I'm gonna make this one travel and then maybe this one will be kind of like my spare products. Um, so maybe we'll do self tanners in here some lotions. Yeah, that's what we'll do So let me find all of the travel size products and put them in here Okay, I cleared out the bin and separate it into like full-size spare products in this one and then this is all of the travel size stuff I was talking about. If you're like me and every time you travel, you like feel the need to go out and buy more mini size products, I really recommend you like just sorting through what you have and keeping it in one place because kind of make sure you're not buying like a ton of the same thing. I think I have like five travel size dry shampoos. So clearly I did not need to buy any more of that, but I know for a trip I just did. So let's figure out what makes sense in this next bin so let's fit these in and see what it looks like now i slid those two baskets right here and now let's go through like the medical box because that was kind of tucked away up there i think that's where i'm going to keep it but i have a feeling some of the medication is expired so we'll just go through that and make sure it's all up to date and all needs to be kept all right all of the somewhat medical stuff fit in here so i'm going to get it back up on that shelf and then we're almost done i feel like this doesn't look very organized but to me it makes sense and i'm gonna consider this done um at least i got rid of a bunch of stuff that i no longer needed i'm gonna go through this and see if any of it can be donated um but otherwise yeah i'm gonna consider this part done I just cleaned off the counter and the mirror and in case you're wondering a couple days ago I actually like purged these shelves and then cleaned the shelves themselves so those don't need to get done and I also cleaned my brushes the other day otherwise I would probably do that right now and I also went through my drawers so this is like kind of an organized chaos but I went through everything made sure there was nothing I wasn't using and then same with my makeup this is my makeup situation if you've ever been curious I just have these little bins from Ikea with all my different products and then um, some like setting sprays and stuff. And the bottom two drawers are my boyfriend's, so I don't really know what's in there. Hello! It's the next day and we are on the way to Goodwill. I ended up staying up until like 11.30 organizing the kitchen and then I just called it a night. But when we get back from Goodwill, I'll show you all the progress I made because I really like how some of the cabinets turned out.
I even got a tax form. Look at me. I'm back now and I want to show you the progress I made last night in the kitchen. It looks so good in here, first of all. But I guess we'll start with the pantry. I kind of spent some time at least like clearing out the pantry. It's not really any more organized than it was. Honestly, with all the space and all the stuff that we have, I think this is as good as it's going to get. I also did the fridge a little bit. That was just kind of like clearing out some outdated produce, but it looks okay. I made this cabinet right here kind of like our entertaining cabinet. So this is anything we would need, I guess, if we were hosting people. So this is like cool glassware, drinkware. Some extra candles in the back, a pitcher, a couple cheese boards, and some serving dishes. Oh, and that's an extra vase. This has always been our like pots and pans, but I did set up that one little divider thing that I got from Target, and that's holding up the cutting boards because those would kind of fall all over the place in there. So that's the only major change. This cabinet used to be a mess, but now it kind of makes a little bit more sense. I put all of our containers down here, and then this is kind of like our tea, matcha, coffee station. The tea kettle and the Nespresso sit right here, so it just kind of makes sense for all that stuff to be above it. We keep all of our Nespresso pods in this little box that I think was from Home Goods. Above the sink turned into our like juicing and smoothie cabinet. This is um, Polly's bowl for veggies, but it gets washed, so I don't think it's like weird to keep up there. Nothing on the counter really changed. This is our junk cabinet. If you thought that I didn't have a junk drawer, you're wrong because that's my junk drawer, but I also have a junk cabinet. Also, if we go into the bedroom, I put all of those bags for Plato's closet in my trunk, and then I brought those two things to Goodwill. I also was randomly at Crate and Barrel and got the pompous grass. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want more content in the meantime between now and my next video, go ahead and follow me on TikTok and Instagram because I post more frequently there. But like I said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.